After securing the win on Tuesday against Hart, Sagas returns back to their home court on Friday to defeat the Grizzlies of Golden Valley. Throughout the game, Sagas seemed to have the upper hand against Golden Valley, but the Grizzlies rallied together during the fourth quarter to catch up to Sagas. But Sagas decided to close out the game in style. Starting off the game, the Centurions had the upper hand with Max Tangian. He shoots and misses, except Landon O'Brien is there for the putback. Saga's still in the hot seat. Ryan Sanchez moves the ball down the line to Justin Perez with his nice fake to make this easy bucket. With more passing hands, Sanchez sinks this dagger to make the score a 10 point difference before going into the half, 31 to 19. Coming out of the half, Matt Correa had this nice back to back threes, adding six more points to the Saga's scoreboard. Going into the fourth, the Grizzlies started to rally together to get some points on the board. Nathan Garcia finds Joseph Miller wide open for this layup to be within two points from Sagas. But with the steal from the Centurions, it is passed off to O'Brien and slam dunk for the buzzer beater to defeat Golden Valley with the final score 63-57. With this victory, the team is number two in the Foothill League and is ready for their next challenge. A lot of athletes, Division One, high major athletes, and uh, you know we just got to do our best and just come out and be a dog. Um, you know we can't let things slide by, and if we just come out and dog them out, then we should be able to do what we want to do. Um, they're athletic, so we just got to stick to what we know and play hard on defense and get what we need to do on offense. Now the Centurions are looking forward to December 23rd, which happens to be the game against Sierra Canyon. The team is consisted of Bryce and Bronny James, which happens to be the sons of LeBron James of the Lakers. As Landon says, the game will be a dogfight. For Kenya's News, I'm Kyle Kawamoto.